Okay, so the first thing you do in searches is you use the little search engine and say you type a name. So Facebook is great for finding names. If you want to find Lou Adler, there he is. If you know the name of somebody or even know a portion, so Lou A, bam, you're still pulling up Lou Adler. You can search comprehensively for people, pages, groups, events. So if you know what you're looking for inside of Facebook, you can almost always find it. It works great from that standpoint. The problem is, is that Lou and these other three people have set their privacy settings so you can't see their profile unless you're already a friend. Now you can add them as a friend, but if you don't have a reason to and you don't know anything about them, you're adding people that you don't know anything about. So you could be wasting your time. And it's not like the other networks where just having a bunch of friends is necessarily a good thing because you're sending out information and you... Trust me, you're going to be sending out information that you don't necessarily want everybody in the world to see. And so if you send it out and you get 2,000 people, next thing you know, you're sending out information they don't care about. They block you. They, you know, they complain about you, and then you get booted. So you want to pick people that have a reason to be connected to you and find some type of reasonable relationship. It's the only reason to be inside Facebook. So the question is, what do you do? So we've looked at the friend finder. So if you know someone's name or email address, it's the easiest way to find them. Uh, it's great if you want to look at discover people you may know, so it's friends of friends. The thing you should know is that it's all set up based on the networks you have. And the network is your friends and their friends. Now, you can't see their friends, but if you're searching for them and they're in your network, then you can then look at their pro- not look at their profiles, but at least connect to them. So there may be six Lou Adlers on the planet. The only one I'm going to see is the one who's connected to my friends. It's important to know. And you can do your searches by two things, either your network, so your college, your uh, high school, or your region, because Facebook was originally built on networks, and now they've tried to move you closer to groups. So you can search just inside your specific geographic region, which you join, or you can search by all of your networks, which include your schools and your groups. Now, here's the problem with this. Let's say you search across the country. I, I do many times. I can only search inside my friends in St. Louis. And you can only change your network. Your network is your regional location twice every 60 days. So if you're searching across the country on a regular basis, you're kind of stuck unless you've grown your friends. So what you do is you go and you grab friends in different cities with lots of connections and hopefully they open you up to the other friends.